Mike O'Harn sure has got a big set of balls, man. Metaphorically speaking, of course. The mind just destroys you. Mm -hmm. And I wish that maybe that's one of the benefits I had is that my mind went the other way every single time. Can I lift more than Doug Furness and look better? You can't be. Apparently not. Ooh. But hey. let's try. It's the right message, but it's the wrong messenger. I actually saw the other day Doucette took a poll on his channel asking if anybody actually believes that Mike O'Hearn is natural. And out of 178,000 votes, 89% of people said they do not believe that he is natty. Now, if we do some quick maths, that is 158,000, roughly, people think that O'Hearn is not natural, compared to roughly 20,000 who think that he is somehow natural. And that's understandable. It, it, basically, it's a problem when you have a guy like this who's so obviously full of shit and has been publicly so full of shit for so long that he probably believes half the BS that falls out of his own mouth at this point. I mean, you, you almost couldn't keep up such an obvious lie like this for so long as such a prominent public figure unless you've basically convinced yourself that your blood is a natural source of trend why does everybody say no matter what you <laughs> turn 35 your testosterone goes down when you're 40 it turns down what about the guy that's sleeping mm -hmm. that didn't sleep in his 20s mm -hmm. that's eating right now for the first time that's doing fasting for the first time that's so you have a guy like this who is so obviously full of shit and everyone knows it and he's out here talking to us like he's the second coming of Christ. Well, my mindset is just so much more powerful than yours and I got to where I am because I just had the toughest mentality of anybody out there. I was pulling myself up by my bootstraps, right? It's, it's like it's sort of the right message. He's conveying consistency and mindset and the importance of those things. I've even made 10 or 15 minute rant videos dedicated specifically to both of those topics semi in depth because I believe that many people do give themselves excuses to be mentally weak and many people who fail to get the results that they want in the gym fail because of this mental weakness. But when Mike O'Hearn is the one out here saying this, I I just want to punch my computer screen and yell shut the fuck up you holier than thou asshole but if you had the right guy delivering this message somebody who was not full of shit then the attached connotations would actually be very different and as such the message would be received very differently i'm on it i'm not on it whatever you want to believe i'm cool with that um but don't disrespect the legends uh, um before me don't say Natty on my page. It's not who I am and not what I do. It's it's the years I've been lifting. It's the stuff that I want to teach you guys. Your belief is set up by what you say. So when you come to my page and you're just saying, Michael Horn, this is all it is. It's like, hey, all right, guys, whatever. I got the legends going. I like what you did in your message. And the message is, go to the positive side. I mean, maybe it's not how you perceive yourself, Mikey, and that's fine. You can feed yourself whatever narrative that you want to feed yourself in order to rationalize everything that you've done over the years and make sure that that money train keeps chugging along. But the Natty or Not topic is kind of a big deal in this whole endeavor, the game of weight training, because you can't really separate one thing from the other, right? You can't separate the usage of PEDs and from their impact on weight training because it's such a prolific thing and it is such an impactful thing in terms of muscle growth and strength. So you, again, are free to create whatever narrative that you want to try to create surrounding these fake nannies. And, and then conversely, I'm free to sit here and create whatever narrative that I want to create. And the narrative that I want to create is one that actually creates clear-cut distinctions between natural versus enhanced weight training. Now, it is in your interest to try to blur these lines, as you've deliberately done so for so many years. We're all pretty well aware of that. But the way I see it is that these lines need to be cut and dry. Now, do I think that your information is without value? No, of course not. Do I think that you are not an incredibly inspirational and motivational and actually a positive overall figure? Again, 
Of course not. You even motivated me when I was younger. I remember seeing you on American fucking Gladiators, dude. That was awesome. But by blurring these lines, you are doing us, the people who you claim to be trying to motivate and inspire and, and give this positive message to, you are doing us a massive, massive disservice. For one thing, People need accurate barometers, and you simply telling them to work harder is not helping anybody because the reality of the situation is not congruent with the picture that you're trying to paint here. And it's obvious why you lie about this issue. You're financially incentivized to have people think that you're natural so that you can continue to sell them duck eggs and, and the frog and whatever other products that you're touting at any given moment in time. If it was PEDs that have been helping you and not those duck eggs, why would I spend my hard earned money on the duck eggs, right? You know, it's a bit of a dilemma there. And, and while I am all for encouraging people to work harder and be more consistent in the gym and with their lifestyles, it isn't really helpful for you to be the one delivering this particular message while you're carrying that big asterisk along with you everywhere that you go. That asterisk, of course, being the fact that you will not admit after all these years that you have had assistance from PEDs. Now, if you were to be honest about your situation and you could then articulate the differences between being natty versus being enhanced and how these substances have helped you along in your journey and how they can help other people along in their journeys, then the story would be different. But instead, what this podcast ends up coming off as is a guy who's actually supremely bitter about the fact that people are not taking his hard work as the end all be all here because he is a pretty obvious fake nanny and he's also bitter that certain people i call them the tabloid youtubers you know they're not really into weightlifting but right. they're they're in it because they talk about famous guys like you drama have been calling him out for that and and as such for skewing everybody's perceptions about what is actually realistic as a natural because of it and so to retaliate against that and to help quell that bitterness, you are deflecting and blaming everybody else but yourself for the current state of things. When in reality, what you should actually be doing is explaining the differences between what is a good and realistic goal as a natural athlete compared to a good and realistic goal for an enhanced athlete, right? Instead of blurring these lines, you should be attempting to make them clear cut for us. Provide people with an accurate barometer. That's what you would do if you did really want to be inspiring people rather than just continuing to lie to them for the sake of financial gain. There are guys like this where I watch their videos, I'm like, you're giving people information, but you're allowing people to believe things, that's gonna make them not push themselves. So Greg makes all these natty or not type videos. Oh, well, yeah, that guy's on drugs. That guy's on drugs. That guy's on drugs. Right. There's no wonder why I look the way I do. So there's no reason for me to even try because I got to get on sauce to look like that. What? And people are drawn to it because it allows them to be like, well, that's why I don't look that way. Not because of the work I do or not because of my genetics. I'm not that way because I'm not on TRT or test. And it really irks me to sit here and listen to PED users talking about how natties are just looking for excuses to not work hard. Atlas Power Shrugged on Instagram recently made a post basically talking about how he believes a, a natty renaissance is burgeoning. And while I don't know if that's true, that, that that renaissance is on the horizon, he is right that that is the thing that needs to happen. We all know what an all-out PED user looks like now, right? Most of us, or at least many of us, the ones who are a little bit more serious, know what a fake natty looks like. So now it is time for true natties to be thrust into the spotlight and given the limelight that has been primarily reserved for steroid users on social media up to this point. And the more high level natties that can gain notoriety, the less and less valid the excuses in this podcast will become. Fake natties have created an issue of unrealistic expectations, which ultimately leads many to disappointment and failure. Then they flip the script back and blame us for listening to them in the first place. Well, what kind of hocus pocus bullshit is that? Seriously. Humans are not equal. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We're not equal. There's different genetics. There's different things. But once more true high level naturals are thrust into the spotlight and those distinctions that those guys are deliberately blurring 
start to become more cut and dry, then these excuses will automatically evaporate, right? This narrative will fall flat. Doucette is kind of low-hanging fruit to pick on at this point when it comes to the natty or not topic, right? But him and his ilk were, in my opinion, a necessary evil up to this point. It's time to move on now, though. Use the knowledge that they've given you for what it's actually worth to stop putting fake natties on a pedestal. Stop idolizing liars and, and, as, and in doing so, perpetuating this cycle, right? And instead, start looking to true naturals for inspiration instead. Shift the notoriety onto them and away from the fake naturals, and then this fake natty issue becomes self-limiting. This, well, you guys just don't work hard enough narrative that O'Hearn is currently spinning will become trite when it's coming from his mouth or the mouth of any other fake natty. I was going to say, what did people say when you were younger? They it, still just accused you of shit, right? 14, 15 years old. I'm gassed out of my mind, they said. How much did you weigh at those points, by the way? 275. <laughs> at 16 or? 15. 15. Fuck. You know, six something, 255 pounds, 260 during football season. Uh -huh. So I came down from 275. Get that football speed. Yeah. And it's like, I look like I just walked off stage as a bodybuilder, but... Now, another important thing is when talking about the natty versus enhanced debate, the information also changes, right? And honestly, at this point, after seeing his progression from teenager to now on the Power Project, they showed pictures when he was younger, it wouldn't surprise me if Mike O'Hearn, the high school football player, had dreams of making it to the NFL, started using young, and then really just never stopped. So, does he even know what it's like to be natural? Does he have any idea about the potential differences between training with assistance versus without it, w what you can get away with and what you can't. And we see time and time again, there are enhanced guys who are prominent on social media, they're jacked out of their minds, and they really don't know how to train. Some of them never learned because they hopped on so early. Others have been riding the gas for so long that they have simply forgotten how prolific that those differences can potentially be. That's not to say that natural training doesn't work for enhanced guys, but it is definitely to say that a lot of the garbage that you see prominent enhanced guys doing will do nearly nothing for most actual natural guys. It's just that the natural route does not allow you to slack off, for lack of a better word, in the same manner as the enhanced route does if you actually want to continue making progress and continue making gains. Honestly, this dude is basically a master deflector and a master gaslighter. He blows smoke up all these guys' asses on the podcast with him, probably so that nobody will challenge anything that he's saying, while at the same time pretending to red pill the audience as a favor to them, right? Well, y'all just ain't working hard enough. You couldn't possibly be working hard enough because if you were, then you'd look like me because I'm all natty Michael Hearn. Been that way since I was 14 years old. He's got balls, man. No scruples, but definitely some big old swinging nuts, metaphorically speaking, at any rate. But honestly, I think people are, are just sick of being lied to, man. Look at the comments on that podcast. No one is fucking buying it. The, the gig is up, man. The golden era of the fake natty it is over. So just ride off into the sunset, bro. Your golden hair will look pretty goddamn good while you're doing it. Society loved the excuse of saying, no matter what, you're going to get worse, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. When that's not true. Can you guys explain that to me? Why I was trying to say something to help them, right? and they went against it. No, no, don't tell us that we can be good. I hate you for that. Well, I hate to sound like a broken record, but the obvious answer is... You're full of shit, and everybody knows it, Mike. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I mean, I'm not sorry, but you know what I'm saying. Your, your entire brand is built around a lie. So, yeah, w when you come out with some pseudo-motivational crap telling people that they're just using you as an excuse not to try, well, it comes off as disingenuous, self-serving, and patronizing. You're not the victim here, man. So that's why you get the response that you get when you talk like that. Anywho, y'all get the point by now. I think Stan Efferding said it best. Fuck Mike O'Hearn. Fuck Mike O'Hearn. Fuck Mike O'Hearn. I can kick Mike O'Hearn's ass.